It's time to spring ahead. What? It's January 29th. What are you talking about? I'm talking about in Life's Pollock Buffet Daylight Savings Time. When does that happen? On January 29th. I'm John Paulus. Thanks for joining me on today's episode. You know, at Life's Pollock Buffet, things don't happen in regular time. I mean, Life's Pollock New Year's is in August. The Life's Pollock Halloween is any time card number eight is drawn. So Life's Pollock Daylight Savings Time starts on January 29th because on January 29th, we think about how to spring ahead in our work lives. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to have to ask the cards to give us a card to help us think about springing ahead in our work, in our lives, in whatever we need to do. Okay, so I'm going to give the cards three shuffles, the casual shuffle. Those of you who are regular listeners to Life Spot Look Buffet know what that means. For those of you who are new, that just means that I'm casually rearranging the front and back of the card deck by holding them in my right hand and using my left hand to grab a, you know, few, a few cards from the back and front and moving them around. All right, so I did the three casual shuffles. Now what I'm going to do is a, a formal shuffle or just what you think of when you think of shuffle, at least what I think of where you do this kind of thing. You hear it, you know, you get it. Oh, I just blew up the microphone. All right. I try not to do that, but I just saw the level go to red. All right. And now I'm going to take a peek and see where there's a gap in the cards so that I know what card the cards want me to draw. And it's card 42. Reveal your hidden work to yourself and others. There are things that we keep hidden that are really important to our work lives. Often, it is an activity that you think nothing of because it is not a quote-unquote real job with a quote-unquote real job title. Fill in the blank. Oh, it's really silly. I'm almost embarrassed to say it, but I blank in my spare time. It sounds like a question from the old uh, newlywed game back in the day. That show was totally whack. Odds are that this silly thing plays a large part in your current and future flourishing. Okay, so think of something that you do that you kind of write off as, oh, you know, that thing, that silly thing. When you come up with something like that, understand that it's not a silly thing at all. Do you remember the other day when I was talking about self-witnessing, that concept that I think I may have invented, where, you know, Others witness us doing good things. Others witness us flourishing. And while they're witnessing that, we're engaged in an activity in which we can't notice while we're doing it because we're doing the activity. I use the analogy of playing a sport. Say you're a professional bowler. You know, you're not thinking about every single little thing thing that you do when you do your thing when you're bowling because otherwise you'd be you wouldn't be able to really bowl you'd just be uh, yeah, too, too busy thinking about bowling to actually be bowling and it'd mess you up and you you know just you wouldn't be a very good bowler you probably wouldn't be a professional bowler the athletes train so that they could go into a kind of autopilot so that they um, are not uh, wrapped up in the because you can't you can't have the be thinking about the mechanics of what you're doing while you're doing it. Uh, that's not um, going to result in uh, success. So the same thing is true in our lives. When we're doing what we do well, we're just kind of in an autopilot type stage. And you know we've thought about things before. And we've practiced things before, but when we're actually doing the thing, we're best when we're on autopilot. And when we're on auto autopilot, we can't see ourselves doing what we're doing because we're doing it. We can't have some sort of out-of-body experience and witness ourselves doing what we're doing. And this is where others come in. Having others who we can trust to let us know 
and understand when we're flourishing. And people see it very easily because your face changes, the way you you hold yourself changes, the way you talk changes, the things you say change when you're in that moment of flourishing. And in those moments, others will bear witness to that flourishing that you're doing. People see you doing it. Even people who don't know you, people will simply be able to witness it because they're picking up on the signs of you being in that zone, of you doing something amazing. So the revealing yourself when you're doing something that you think, oh, well, that's something I just do, that is part of that self-witnessing I was talking about, where we can, through understanding what others are saying about our performance and also understanding what when we get into these moments we can self-witness and that helps us because then we can really focus on areas where we're flourishing so we know and so that we can flourish even more and be even more satisfied with what we're doing and feel even better about what we're doing when we know when we're in these moments. And this card, card 42, provides a way to get to that moment of self-witnessing because you're not in that moment right now. So you can be kind of outside of yourself even if just slightly. That's being outside of oneself and thinking of oneself at another time. That's the closest we can get to accessing the same kind of understanding that others just have intuitively by seeing us do something or hearing us do something. That other For others and for us, it's very easy. We know it when we see somebody who's doing really well at what they do no matter what the activity is, no matter what the work is. It doesn't need to be on the you know, Olympics and, and be uh, something that's on a kind of stage like that. It can be a, an everyday activity. And we see that a person is doing it in a way that if there were an Olympics of this everyday activity, they would be a gold medalist, or at the very least on the medal stand. Think about what you would be on the medal stand for in just an everyday activity that you don't think anything of normally. I can tell you one thing I just thought of the other day. I repaired a chair whose interior framework had broken. It's a kind of cheap wood, but it's a really nice chair and I really like it a lot. And I repaired it using just a single wood screw that I found in, you know, the plastic container where you throw every extra screw that you ever have from anything that you've ever done. You probably have one too, or know of one in the house right now, where you are or wherever you are. And so, you know, I was able to, I, I, I got out the, you know, the, 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 drill and the, all sorts of equipment. But in the end, I solved the problem with one correctly sized screw, a level, and a spirit level, which sounds a little bit like, I feel like there should be a show on an, one of those streaming services called Spirit Level about a contractor who comes back from the grave to help people out with their home improvements. That's a nice show. It sounds like it could be a K-drama. There'd have to be a love storyline for it to be a real K-drama, but we'll have to work that out later. Anyway, so I used that. Oh, and a screwdriver, right? So I had the spirit level, the screwdriver, and that one rightly sized nail. And that's all it took for me to turn this chair into a broken wreck that was unusable and that I honestly was contemplating throwing out to a wonderful, like new chair that I now happily use thinking about how I repaired. I would have given myself a gold medal for that. And 
I wouldn't I now because I drew card 42 I don't think of it as oh that's just some silly thing I did I think of it as here's a situation where I salvage something by using a, a minimal amount of tools and and I did oh I also had a staple gun because I had a staple to scrim back on so okay so so f four tools and I did that with a bit of ingenuity and most of all with an attitude that said, I got this. So to spring ahead on this daylight savings day in Life's Public with Aid, please don't set your clocks ahead because this has nothing to do with that. In on this day of Life's Public Buffet Daylight Savings, to spring ahead, look out for those times when you say, I got this. Mm -hmm.